Welcome to Hato. My name is Rotili and today I will demonstrate the process of fine grinding and pre-polishing of acrylic dentures. For fine grinding, one uses three different types of mini abrasive fleece wheels made of Scotch-Brite. The coarse brown Scotch-Brite wheel is used first. With this tool, scratches on the surface are easily smoothened. This coarse brush has the strongest abrasion and is the most suitable brush for finishing soft liner acrylics. Now we move on to the dark grey Scotch-Brite wheel, a medium abrasive tool used to remove any remaining scratches. In this initial grinding phase, special attention should be paid to speed. High speeds should be avoided, best results are obtained using 10,000 RPM and should be applied with a gentle pressure. This ensures that the acrylic does not overheat due to excessive friction. As the third grinding step, the fine grained purple wheel is used to create a silk matte surface on the acrylic denture. Using this purple scotch bright wheel, a desired surface is achieved without ruining the carefully carved anatomical surface. The denture is now perfectly prepared for the pre-polishing process. The pre-polishing procedure ensures difficult to reach areas are also prepared and ready for the upcoming high shine polish. In smaller, difficult to reach areas, such as the interdental areas, the gum cuffs and the palette wrinkles, Using a micromotor is recommended for pre-polishing. The jagged brush, the Geza 120 HP, consists of stiff bristles. In combination with the novel polishing compound, Polystar Lintigre, it removes the rougher finishing marks in the interdental area. The best result is obtained using a recommended speed of 10,000 RPM. Due to Polystar Lintigre's soft consistency, it is easily applied on the rotating brush and can be used very sparingly. Additionally, this keeps your workstation clean and it is a much healthy alternative to pumice. At the workstation, the difficult to reach areas are polished using the lathe brush 1144 in combination with the Polystar Linty Grey polishing compound. With a light pressure and a speed of 1400 RPM, a significant effect is achieved in a short time. In order to effectively polish large surfaces, one should use a multi-layered brush with an 80mm diameter made from high-quality chunking bristles in combination with Scotch-Brite. Due to their special properties, namely stability and flexibility, this brush is the preferred choice in this acrylic denture polishing step. It is also preferable in the pre-polishing of smaller surfaces to use a multi-layered brush with a 55mm diameter. Due to their size and structure, these smaller brushes do not wear down the denture in the polishing process, as would be the case using a larger brush. Should one find that there are still areas which are difficult to reach, one can use a goat hair brush and proceed with polishing on a micromotor. The denture now has an even surface and is ready for the high shine polishing process. Finally, I will summarize the Hato tools and polishing compounds which were introduced to you in this clip. For the grinding process, we recommend three mini abrasive fleece wheels made from Scotch-Brite with a granulation of coarse, middle and fine abrasives. Difficult to reach areas should be pre-polished with the Polystar Lintigreg polishing compound in combination with the Geza 120HP brush on a micromotor or alternatively with the 1144 polishing lathe. Thereafter, at the workstation, the pre-polishing of larger surfaces should be carried out with a bigger, multi-layered brush. For precision work, the goat hair brush, 122 HP, on the micromotor is recommended. That's it for today. If you'd like to hear about the next stage of reaching a unique mirror finish, then please have a look at part 2 of this series, Shine and High Shine Polishing of Acrylic Dentures. I would be glad to see you there. If you have any further technical questions, 
Please feel free to contact me at rotili at hato.de. See you soon, your Rotili.